Good morning everyone, happy Friday. This is what I look like with absolutely no makeup, just in case you were wondering. Here's what I'm taking to work today. My usual drinks, I have coffee for zero smart points, one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. I have one teaspoon of teeny skinny tea for zero smart points with the juice of a quarter cup of lemon for a quarter of a lemon for zero smart points. All drinks, zero smart points. I will probably have all of those by one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, today I'm probably going to have an apple first if I get hungry, um, zero smart points. And that's because I wanna have this oatmeal just before I run. So this is my peanut butter banana oatmeal. It is three smart points. It is a quarter cup of oatmeal for two smart points two tablespoons of PB Fit for one smart point, a half cup of almond milk for zero smart points, and I have two packets of sweetener for zero and a third cup of water. So everything in here is three smart points. I will microwave it for two to three minutes at work when I'm ready to eat it, and then put this gross looking banana inside. This is literally the only banana I had access to, and I got it from work, so. <laughs> there is my peanut butter banana oatmeal. So everything I have to eat or drink today before dinner is three smart points. Hey girl, hey. It's me, Julie. First walk break. Here's my outfit of the day. Are you guys gonna get totally sick of seeing my outfit repeats? Because I don't have a bazillion clothes. So let me know if you don't wanna see repeats and I won't show them. But I did just order some, I ordered two new shirts yesterday from, shoot, I was gonna tell you the name. It was the flower shirts I was talking about yesterday. Fantasy something or Remember. Maybe I'll remember when they come. Those have already shipped two new shirts with flowers on them. Um, and then I ordered again from venus.com yesterday. I think I did a skirt and a sweatshirt and a shirt. Or maybe just two items because I think one of them may have been sold out. It was there when I put it in my cart and then it was sold out by the time I went to go check out. So it was a clearance item. Anyway, so I will have some new clothes to show you soon. Yay! Let's talk about last night because this girl had another great eating night. Okay, first of all, I did end up eating all of that spaghetti squash, all of it. But no big deal because the whole plate I think the whole plate, was it two or three points? It was two points. The whole plate, two points. So I did eat all of that, but I kind of ate it in stages, so <laughs> I didn't eat all of it at once. That would have made my belly hurt, um, but I did eat all of it, which made me super happy that I was not mindful snacking, mindless snacking. I did not have any night eating, no weird stuff. That is three days in a row, you guys, that I have not been doing the mindless night eating so yay i just hopefully i'm going into a phase where i'm over it and i can control myself again because it was getting really annoying and i was not happy with myself so three days in a row with no mindless snacking yay my points were still over a bit i think i ended at 40. they were over what i wanted like i'd like to stay in the 30s um but since there was no mindless snacking, it was just an extra glass of wine, I am totally fine with that. So that was yesterday. Super, super happy about that. So I have my makeup on now, by the way. So yes. Um, intermittent fasting. Let's talk about intermittent fasting for a minute. I know this is a subject that not everyone wants to hear about. However, um, it's been so beneficial for me. And number one, I totally recommend doing the intermittent intermittent fasting 
in addition to counting Weight Watchers points because one of the dangers of, or one reason why intermittent fasting may not work for everyone is because some people apparently have a tendency to overeat during their eating window. So even though you may be fasting for a good part of the day and then eating within just a certain time frame, you still cannot overeat during that time frame. So I still, and I will always count smart points anyway, um, but I definitely still count my smart points because I wanna make sure that I'm still eating the proper amount. So that's my number one recommendation for intermittent fasting is you should still do it um, with your Weight Watchers points. So that's just gonna help ensure that you're not just picking out during your eight hour window or your five hour window or whatever you choose. So. Um, secondly, um, if you want to try intermittent fasting, it's good to just ease into it. You don't want to start um, starving yourself until 5 o'clock, like right off the bat. That will be so hard. You probably will not like it and you probably won't succeed. So even, so from what I've read and what I've studied and heard is that a lot of people start slowly. Say for example, you eat breakfast at 9 o'clock. So for one week or a couple days until you're comfortable, maybe push breakfast to 11 o'clock. Um, the next day or the next week, you could try breakfast at noon um, or you know start eating at noon. So just every day gradually push it back a little until you have your window. And then of course in the evening, you need to stop eating at your specific time frame. So most people do an eight hour eating window. And I think that most people do like 11 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. as their eating window. That's pretty normal, you guys. That's really just skipping breakfast and then doing maybe lunch, snack, dinner, snack. That's pretty normal. And it's not, it would not be that difficult to adjust to, and yet your body will still be getting all of the benefits of the intermittent fasting, which is that it's utilizing the calories more efficiently. And then um, also, I just get, I feel great. I have so much energy when I'm intermittent fasting, and then I don't think about food as much. I feel like I get more done because I'm not preparing food all the time. I'm not eating as much. Just everything seems so reduced. So. I also feel like I have reduced my food overall because I'm snacking less. Um, so, I mean, there's so many other benefits besides just weight loss. So if I don't lose from intermittent fasting, that's fine. I will continue doing it because I just feel amazing on it. I think my body is responding pretty well too. So um, most people do 11 to seven. You could also do, I mean, if you're enjoying the fasting period, and you feel really energetic and um, alive, and I just feel great. Um, so you could push it to 12 to eight for your eating window. You could do one to nine. I actually don't get home until like eight, 8.30, so my eating window is naturally later. I've always, for a long time now, we've had dinner late like between 8 to 9 um, 9 30 um, so it works for me to have a later window as late as possible um, so that's why I tried to wait uh, I, I initially started my window at uh, what did I want to do I wanted to do two o'clock two o'clock to ten o'clock um, then I went to three o'clock to eleven o'clock and just recently I'm doing five o'clock for my starting and I, I'm really bad about ending on time so I don't really cut off my eating window at the proper time so that's why I figure the later the better for me because I'm not paying attention to that part um, but five o'clock has worked pretty well for a couple days I'm gonna try that again today if I can hold out that long but for me it just I feel great during the fasting period and um, when I eat, everything tastes so much better. Everything tastes so delicious. Um, and then it just works for me to have a later cutoff period. So for you, um, for your schedule, your work schedule, if you want to eat dinner with the family, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that everybody should push their window to five to, what's it, five to midnight? Is that what that is? I don't know. I can't do the math on the fly. <laughs> um, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, five to one. 
Hmm, see, that kind of actually works pretty well for me because I know for a fact I'll be done eating by one o'clock. <laughs> Most of you guys can probably do it way earlier. But anyway, so my tip is that you should start gradually, start pushing your time frame gradually so you're not shocking your body too much. Number two, my second tip is that you can drink coffee and tea, sparkling water. You can drink all of that during the fasting period and that, in the words of Kino Body, that blunts the hunger. So <laughs> it does, it helps. Um, so yeah, and then you just get used to, the hunger actually comes in waves. It's not like you're gonna be starving for a constant, you know, from the time you wake up until two o'clock. You're not, it's kind of comes and goes and then you kind of get used to it. It comes and you have a couple sips of coffee and then it goes and then it comes and you drink a little tea and then it goes and it's, I don't know, I, I love it and I have gotten very used to it and I really enjoy it. So um, those are just a couple tips for you guys if you want to try the intermittent fasting, but again, I highly recommend continuing with Weight Watchers Smart Points, especially if you're on Weight Watchers already and it's been working for you because Weight Watchers works. So anyway, and then um, the Teamy Tea I wanted to talk about briefly. I still am loving my Teamy Tea. I feel like regular <laughs> um, and I do still feel less bloated. So I think that I'm probably going to, I, I was gonna just do like Timmy trial or, or Timmy detox every like, um, like back to back months. Um, it's a 30 day detox. Um, and then if you wanna do back to back, then they recommend you do a five day break before you do the next 30 day detox. So I was going to do that and just jump right in, take my five days break and then jump right in with the next teeny tea detox. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of research on some other detox programs, hopefully 30 day programs and maybe purchase a different one so I can see, I wanna compare it to the teeny tea and see you know which one works better for me which one i feel better on probably the cost maybe the ingredients so i want to do a comparison of a few different detox programs um so i'll bring you guys along for the ride but i love teeny i love it so i just want to make sure that it's the best product for me so yeah that's my plan but i still have uh i still probably have at least two weeks left on my teeny TV docs so there's that but I do feel I, I really appreciate feeling more regular <laughs> that's huge for me so that's all for me today I'm gonna try again I feel a little hungrier today than um, I was the previous couple days I think it may be because having lunch yesterday at 1 o'clock or 1 30 um, it kind of threw me off. I was in a good rhythm for the intermittent fasting and then it kind of threw me off a little bit So my body maybe is gonna want food a little earlier today. I'm gonna hold off um, at least till two or three because um, that's my regular and then um, If I can I'm gonna hold off until five Probably five five thirty and the reason one huge reason I want to hold off today is because I brought the peanut butter banana oatmeal and today I'm doing a longer run on the treadmill. I'm doing eight miles. So I want to have the peanut butter banana oatmeal pretty soon before I run. So 5.30 would actually probably be ideal. I want to harness the energy. And sometimes I still kind of am wondering if that peanut butter banana oatmeal thing is in my mind or I just want to see if I really get some good energy from it today and just make sure that that's what is doing it because I will swear by peanut butter banana oatmeal combo for the rest of my life if it's given me that much energy for my runs. <laughs> so that's my plan for today guys. Um, I don't really need to walk at lunch because I'm doing eight miles after work but I really have nothing else to do. I don't want to hang around the office. Um, I actually want to listen to my audiobook. I'm listening to a very interesting audiobook right now. Um, it's called Every Last Lie by Mary Kubica. And I believe she is the one that wrote The Girl on the Train. Um, so I listened to that audiobook a year or so ago, and then the movie came out, and 
Um, it's interesting. She has an interesting writing style and kind of a it's kind of a mysterious drama thriller kind of thing, but it's not scary. It's hard to describe. <laughs> anyway, so I'm listening to that and I'm really enjoying it. So I will probably do my walk at lunch. I may just do three miles so that I can just walk really slow and not sweat. I don't feel like sweating today and I don't need the mileage. I don't need the steps. So I can just take it really slow and really easy. So that's probably what I'll do. But can I head back to work now for about an hour more and then um, I will take lunch and touch base with you guys later. Bye. Okay, lunch, walk break. I am walking really slow because I'm trying not to sweat. <laughs> it's not really working. Is this a mind over matter thing? I don't want to sweat. Ugh. I don't want to have to redo my makeup. I don't want, I didn't change my shirt, so I don't want my shirt to be stinky. So what I should do is just hang out here under this tree. That actually feels really good in the shade under this tree with the breeze. But no, that would be a waste of time. So here I go. Mind over matter, Julie. No sweating. No sweating. I'm a dainty girl. I don't sweat. <laughs> okay, I just realized that Mary Kubica did not write The Girl on the Train. That was Paula Hawkins, I think. And um, Mary Kubica wrote Pretty Baby, The Good Girl, and Don't Cry or Don't You Cry. All very good. I think, I, I know I've listened to Pretty Baby and The Good Girl. I think I listened to Don't Cry or Don't You Cry. I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, I need to find it and listen to it. It's good. She's a great author. She's a great author. I am the only one in the gym tonight. I love it when that happens. Got the whole place all to myself. Hey everyone, it is 7.45. We are headed home. I just finished eight miles on the treadmill, 10 minutes on the rower, five minutes on the elliptical. I am beat. I am disgustingly sweaty. I am soaked. I think I lost five pounds of sweat. I'll vouch for that. <laughs> He'll also probably tell you how stinky I am because he tells me that all the time. <laughs> I can't help it. Exercise produces sweat produces stink. Anyway, we're headed home for dinner. I am going to try to go to bed at least at a reasonable time tonight. And right now I'm going to eat the apple. Talk to you later. Okay, it's 10 minutes after nine and here is what's for dinner tonight. So this is actually the beef stew that Eddie made the other night. It is with the canned uh, great value fully cooked roast beef and then it has a little bit of corn. Everything else is vegetables. So what's in here right now is probably about an ounce of that roast beef. So I'm going to count one point for the ounce of roast beef and there's um, about an eighth a cup, maybe a quarter cup of corn. So a quarter cup of corn is one point. So I, I am counting two points for this entire bowl of soup. It's about two cups worth of soup, so it's a good amount. On top I have a quarter cup of fat-free shredded cheddar for zero smart points. So two points in my bowl, and then here I have a grilled cheese sandwich. I have the Sara Lee 45 calorie delightful multi-grain bread. I have two slices, it is one point per slice. And then in between that I have the Kraft fat-free singles. I have three fat-free singles for one smart point. And then I grilled this with just a, a light spray of Pam cooking spray on each side. So the total for the grilled cheese sandwich is three smart points. Total in the bowl is two, so five smart points altogether. And then I also have one glass of sangria for five smart points.